Hey guys, this is Dazzlers and Thanks, and this is a smokeless indoor grill. Let's see what this thing has to offer. As you can see, it's not too big, so it's really good for a few people, probably up to four. Let's open this thing up. Oh, look what we have here. Just like the one that you see when you're going to the uh, Korean restaurants. I like it. actual grill let's put that in there okay so this is the actual grill surface now because of the way this thing is designed you're not gonna have a lot of surface for grilling meat and half a pet would be for vegetables seafood and which is what I like and that's why I uh, chose this particular design now let's see you got about 13 and 3 fourths grilling surface the length the width is about 8 inch one at the side it's about 7 7 by 8 and then the other side would be six and a three four by eight. So normally I would clean this first with warm water before first use. And I'd probably put a butter in it before my fresh use. Okay, here you can see here this is the heating element. Heating element and the control. What do I have here? Oh, so this thing has a fan. And I got aluminum, probably aluminum made of aluminum. And you got some of the holes in here. Let's see why. Oh, okay. So there, there's a drip fan underneath. And I've used a similar product in the past. And normally what you would do so it doesn't have a lot of smoke is put water in here. And I'm gonna do the same for this one. Here. And there's your bottom. Oh, now, okay, now I see. This thing is a fan. You can see, I don't know if you could see that. This thing rotates. I don't know how this thing will work and how it's going to extract or prevent the smoke but we'll see we'll see so if you're going to put it back together it's going to be like this oh this is the missing part that i'm looking for This is the uh, handle for the cover. And what do we have here? Okay. You got some screws. Let's put this thing together. And there you have it. It's a little bit tricky to install, but doable. I like the fact that this is a cover. Now going back to the base, it's all plastic, so it's easy to clean. 
I'm not so sure about this thing though. Oh, okay. Let's see what's underneath. Let's see if I can take this off. Why am I removing this? I don't know. I just turned it over and I saw this. So what is this, a battery? No, it's just a cover. Oh. So that means I can remove this. This is the fan. You can actually remove it. Oh, you can actually remove it for cleaning. I would assume. Why else would you want to remove this? Or you could replace it. Well, that's nice. You could actually remove the fan either to replace if they have a replacement part or to clean it. When you put it back, there's a two prongs in here. And right there, you see the holes. Got to make sure that they line up. Push them in. Well, that's not bad. Put it like that. And return the cover. Put the screw back in. I assume you don't want to do this a lot of times because this screw is going to strip. It's only going into a plastic. So, yeah, don't do this when if you don't need to. Okay, underneath you got some pads in here so it doesn't sleep. So that's good. You got you got this handle. Not a handle, but you know, something to hold on to so you can easily move this thing. So this thing is very light. Uh, it's about, let's see, it's about 5 inches high. Overall, the unit is about 19 inches in length and 11 and a half inch wide. Putting it back, okay, let's put it this way. Again, you see the fan back there. This one goes underneath, and this thing goes in here. You can see the holes, so whatever mess, whatever grease falls down underneath. And this one, the heating element, I would say, goes here. There you go. Bit like a globe. And here, and there's your actual grill. Uh, is there something happening down here? No. It's good. And there you go. <clears throat> hmm. This is not going as smoothly as I want. Why? No, there's nothing that's actually surviving it, but I think you can put it either way okay you, you can put it under either way yeah you can put it either way now for some reason one of the side is taller as you can see it's not flush oh oh there, there you go and you got the handle here so it's easy to lift yeah. and there you go and final touch the cover Of course, this thing's not gonna work without a plug, so I'm gonna plug it. I'm not gonna use it to grill right now, but I'm gonna turn on the control so you can see. You can see this thing is powered on. Click on power, and then you can adjust the temperature. I heard something like a click, so you can put it up. And I guess this is the indicator, as you can see here. It indicates what temperature you chose. 
now it's in uh, 336 degrees Fahrenheit it doesn't have cell shoes and that's fine so the highest would be 446 and if I turn down the fan there you go can you hear it okay okay See if this thing is heating up. Okay, seventy-three point nine. Okay, Fahrenheit. That's about. Well, it's hard to see in the camera, but it's about one sixty-five. Try that again. Okay, that part right there is already at two hundred and eleven degrees. Fahrenheit so this thing hits up fast this one right here 191 so because it doesn't have those holes it heats up slower and that's fine because you're cooking like vegetables in here seafood 264 and so this is fast this really heats up fast so that's good Two hundred and eighty-four matter, not even minutes, seconds. So let me turn this off. Turn the fan off. There you go. And there's the smokeless in their grill. This one is called Right. As you can see, but we all know that this is just a logo that they put in. I think for the most part the design is similar to what we see uh, on the others. You got a, a pan uh, that extracts the the smoke. I'm just trying. I was trying to see if there's smoke, but you know, the, there's really no way that this thing can actually remove all the smoke. I've had several of this. It will reduce it enough so that you can uh, enjoy it indoors but it's not gonna be a hundred percent smoke free you gotta make sure that at the bottom you put water on the fan if you don't there's still gonna be a lot of smoke and there you go once again thank you for watching and please don't forget to click that like share subscribe and hit that notification bell for more of my videos and let me know in the comments what you think about this uh, particular product, if you used it before, if you used uh, something similar, different brand, but you know, the, the function is similar in, in a way or one way or the other. And if you'd like to see more of this type of videos, let me know as well. Uh, this is Ads and Toys, I do have a lot of toys and I have a lot of things as well. And I will see you on my next video. Bye!